and welcome back to tech stack channel before moving to our topics if not subscribe the channel please subscribe share and like the video and if you have any doubts please mention a comment section today we'll see the rp star challenge to day three and going to the and here they mentioned develop a settlement bot will go through the payment this is the payment of the link download the report for the day unzip the folder open uh, txt files in the folder get important details needs such as account number so it's having the 10 digits and amount the second under the account number references number and we have and finally con uh, everything updated into the one excel file and send a email attachment to this start group so now i am going to this portal this is a portal so we need to update the name business email work id submit and the download okay now we'll go back to the your path uh, studio and we'll develop the bot and first step we need to launch the browser open browser and we need to pass the path this is my path Later, we need to enter the your name here. Take this type into activity. Indicating the element, I'm entering the your name. I will make here as a key start. Let me check the element, how, what, what, how the types of fields. Let me re-indicate. And I will take input name as this. Taking and doing rest of the thing. Business email. Updating mail ID. And next step, taking one more type into activity. This is the work ID. Here I will give some random number. And finally, click on the submit. Now downloading part is completed. Once this is downloaded, so we need to unzip that file. So once I enter all the details, it will land to this page. So after I need to click on this download option, updating the download or click activity as well. So I'm doing manually download now. What type of file it will take? I want to check that name of that file, everything. Okay, by defaultly, it will come to this download folders and the name as a transaction as at 13 May 2022. So now we need to do unzip these files. Now unzip the files for the taking. Unzip file activity. Here we need to pass the file. So I'm just taking that file of path of this file. PS path. And now updating the destination. Just I will check whether uh, this is working fine or not. Extra config files. Let me run this. Okay, it's throwing some error. Extra config cannot extract. Okay, this is dot .ra file. So I think we need to use some alternate approach. Removing this activity. Now we'll see the another activity. So the another activity which I'm extracting with the help of CMD command. And here we can see the three things I appeared here. The first thing is un.rar exe file. So there is a one exe file which is available. Let me show you that. And we can see this here we have the un rar. So what it will do now, it will just run that program. After that here x, x is just a small command. 
to extract the content of the RAR files. This is a folder path which we downloaded the RAR file. And finally, see, and this is the, my destination. So I want to change some destination. I can change the destination. So entire thing, I will save it as the .bat extension file. So I will make it save as. So I will save it in some desktop. Unzip dot bat. If it is have dot bat extension only, then it will work. Else, it won't work. So I am saving this one. Let me back to your part studio. And here I will just check whether that is working fine or not. For that purpose, I will take start process. Here I will select that file. So this is my file. Just I'm copying as a path. We update this on this whether I am able to, I mean, bot able to unship these files or not. Okay, this is the folder. So I run that and we can see the all files are extracted. I'm moving to downside and I'm taking one activity which we call delay. So just I give some couple of seconds. As of now, I will make it as uh, some five seconds. Just it will wait for five seconds because the command prompt is running. For that purpose, I will make it as a just five seconds. And we extracted that file. After that, we need to take for each activity. And here we need to pass this. We need to pass this folder path. So just copying this folder and I will pass it here. So we need to use directory dot to get files after that this is my path now what it will do now it will go to in that file and it will open each and every text files our next step is we need to read that files read the files i'm taking read csv read csv and in this read csv i'm leaving the path as current item dot to string and i will create a one uh, output data table as tempo data table after this taking not temperature tempo data table i'm going back to the statement so here we need to update account number and amount and the reference number so only three are there after taking write cell and updating the values here so first uh, updating the path and file should be saved in the out xlx file and this should be in the name of sheet one and the cell value is a1 and here the text is account number similar way i need to do for the rest to amount and another one is reference number. Here the value is B1, L value, and the text is amount. And here the third one, cell value is C, B1 cell value, and text is reference, reference number. So this three is updated. After reading this text data, and we need to update into the Excel file. So take this Excel activity again, and let me go back to the files folder. So here are having multiple files. So every time uh, row value is increasing, increasing. For that, I will take one as an activity and incrementing the counter. So I will take here. Temp counter and assigning value as two. So because my index here starts from the two. After the downside, I need to increment the counter. So plus temp counter. This is done. So let me take this uh, read Excel update Excel value. I mean write Excel cell value. Let me expand. And the value, these are the same. And here, I don't want the A1. So I need only A after the temp counter. 
that's it. So temp counter dot to string. And the here value is I read the data from here now. So from the data table, I will make it as data table of zero of zero. So here the value starts from the zero. Let me open this uh, file. So this is zero index one, two, three, four. So we have index like that. And here we are getting the error. So just dot two. I will make it. So this error gone. After that, I need to work column B and column C. So this is column B. And here I will make it as one. And finally, column C. And here the index is four. Four commas, I mean four brackets, four. I hope everything is completed now. Let me close this Chrome and delete these downloaded files. Final step is we need to send that mail. So for that I'm using SMTP. SMTP mail message. And I need to update the two address. Let me open the website again. So two mail ID is this one. And subject I will make it as let me check may given any subject. So I will make subject as settlement bot. And body I will make the same thing, settlement bot only. And attach file this, I need to attach that file. So I will give you the value the Excel file. Here I need to update the host port name, server, email, password. So let me update those things. Here email ID is I will already created one variable. I'm answering the same thing and password for this. I mentioned the password. After this here we have the port. The port is 587 and we have the server. Let me update port. And the server is SMTP Office 365 and everything is completed. Now let me run this port. Now I'm running this bot. It's updating their expected details and click on the submit and downloading the, the rare zip files. And it will unzip those files and later it will convert to the data. Everything is done. Now I will show that mail. We check whether a mail has sent it or not. I will go to the sent items and we can see this. It has sent and we can see the attachment output Excel file. I'm just opening the same Excel file. And this is the output here. So just I did one small uh, change. So here previous it has a two. I changed it to one and here previous we have four comma four and one comma one. I just make it as zero of zero. If you have any doubts, uh, post a comment on the comment section and try to do from your end. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like button, share with your friends, 
subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload.